My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball, and what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced, the insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top and then slowly coming down, trace the line and do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is an Great feedback tool, visual feedback tool for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstesGolf.com if you have any questions. See, look at that. I mean, that's like way different than what you were doing five minutes ago, even ten minutes ago. Club was way in, shut there. Here you got the club handle in, club head out. Look at the toes up better. Much better club face at the top. Look at the difference between that face and that. It's huge. And, uh, the club is under control at the top. You don't have you got a little bit of extra runoff there you don't want. But you can get rid of that too. And the club doesn't get underneath, stays right down the target line. Sequencing is way better there too, I think. Yeah. Your arms are in front of you, coming down here. Yeah. I think that's how you want to hit balls and I think that's how you want to Get that takeaway, you know, stick a shaft in the ground, um, you know, go to a grass range and stick that shaft right on the angle of the shaft established when you take your address and then just feel like that club head stays to the outside of your hands, meaning to the left of your hands. Don't let it get inside. And I think you're going to hit the ball pretty good. I still think you got to get rid of some extra motion there at the top, but and I want you to forget about power because you got plenty of power. That's the last thing you need to worry about. No, here's a guy that's got a great. He's a great ball striker. He's not your build, but he's my build. But this is where I want to go with your club. It's a much more toe down look. The left wrist is a little more like that as opposed to that. Um, but that's a whole bunch better just in five minutes. I mean, I'd take that swing over this any day of the week. I'd take that. And see how deep your hands get, meaning how far behind you your hands are way behind your right heel. That's no good. Totally different club face right there. Your hands aren't as deep. Your hands are going to stay more in front of you with that takeaway because your hands are going to work up and not back. And that's the way it should be anyway because that will keep, keep the club from dropping underneath. You don't want that club to drop way under. All right.